If this doesn't work out, then we're gonna be off to a real bad start. I definitely think that works. If this video doesn't make it, it's probably because I burned my eyeball out. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a TikTok makeup hack test. So we're going to test some of the most popular, most viral uh, TikTok makeup hacks. I'm not the first to do this, but I really wanted to test these out for myself, see if they're actually worth all the hype. So the first makeup hack that I'm going to be testing out is the hack where you take a powder to fill in your brows, you go like messy, wild, you look like you have the most ridiculous, bushy, disgusting brows ever, and then you clean it up with a makeup wipe. You know, really easy, really simple brows, and then you clean it up with concealer and we're good to go. So we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna be taking a brown eyeshadow. I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette right now. Go like super messy, you can go all over the place. doesn't work out then we're gonna be off to a real bad start and I'm going like ham in here because I want them nice and full okay so this is the result insane I'm gonna use actually baby wipe I don't have makeup wipes on me right now I don't know about this I also don't have my long acrylic nails on anymore so this would have been easier and more crisp with those. Mm, I'm not loving this. I feel like it's hard to get them perfect. I'm going to use a spoolie to kind of soften this part. I feel like these look ridiculous and I don't like it. Okay, so I don't love this <laughs> at all. Um, I'm gonna take a angled brush and get a little bit more of like a precise tail going on here. Yeah, I just feel like I wasn't able to get like the preciseness with it because like you can't, maybe if I had nails it would have worked better. I feel like they also look even more defined than I would typically make them and I usually go really defined. I don't know, like I guess they're not the worst but I'm not loving it. Okay, I'm going to do my next hack and hopefully make this makeup look better. Um, the next hack is the super popular hack you where you up, do watch. the whole new whole routine. routine. You moisturize, moisturize set your moisturizer with a setting powder, then do powder. your setting spray, spray and then concealer and or and then foundation. So let's try this out. I'm gonna be using my moisturizer. I'm testing this moisturizer. I've been doing it for like I'd say um, close to a month now, at least three weeks, and I like it so far. Um, it's the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. Okay, so we've put our moisturizer on. We're going to take a little bit of a translucent setting powder, and I'm taking my Peach Perfect. Dust this on with my JH11. She said just a little bit. So, so far my skin looks really smooth. I keep looking in the monitor and I feel like I look like I'm on Angry Birds because my eyebrows look so disgustingly bold. But whatever, we're just gonna go with it. Now we're going to do our setting spray. I'm gonna use my Veil Soft Focus because I have been enjoying this one recently. And then it says to let the setting spray dry. Now you're going to take a primer and I'm going to take my all nighter. I'm not using a pore filling primer because I want um, to see if this really makes a difference in my pores and see if this hack makes a difference. I feel like really tacky now but I guess we're going to go with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and we'll see what happens. that's kind of part of the first hack to clean them up but I didn't want to 
mess up the second hack because you're supposed to do that specific routine so far honestly really good guys i really like the way that my skin's looking and this could be really cool i'm gonna go ahead and do concealer the one thing that i do want to do is set my under eyes i'm gonna have to do it is that like a rule that you're not supposed to set it after this <laughs> I'm gonna blend this in, set my face, and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a, like a super natural, quick little eyeshadow um, because then I'm going to come back with hack number three. these brows are just really making me angry you know i'm gonna just gel them quick um because my hairs are all over the place now from playing around with them just a little bit of gel and i'm just gonna leave them alone i do not recommend that brow trick i'm not impressed with it i feel like my brows look awful right now not the worst but i feel like i ended up putting 10 times more work into them um, and my brows take me long enough. So, so far this skin hack is looking good. I'm going to get you guys up close. Okay, so I came up really close, really quick, just to show you how my skin is looking now. It's looking pretty smooth. Still a bit of texture. I mean, let's be real. We're all human. We all have texture and I have a lot of texture. So, so far this is looking good. Not so much the bra. Angry Birds 3, anyone? <laughs> um, but yeah, super smooth so far, I think. Okay guys, so I have finished my face makeup and I have finished my um, eye makeup. The next hack that I have here is going to be, you take some lash glue, put it on your eye, like angled liner brush and it's supposed to make it more pointy. Now I got one of my brushes that is a little bit too thick that never can make a really precise line. We're gonna test it with this one, see if it works. So what you have to do is you put some lash glue. Now I'm taking my House of Lashes glue and you put it on the tip of the brush and then you kind of pinch it. I think I put too much, but that's okay. You pinch it and it's supposed to, ooh, definitely does make a more precise line. So you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I'm gonna let it like kind of harden a bit more so that it keeps its form hopefully, but I think this actually would work. And then you could just clean it um, with regular makeup brush remover or some soap and water. So you could use it for brows as well. I'm gonna use it for liner though. I'm gonna take my Tati Beauty palette and take the black. And this brush I never can get a nice precise line with. So let's see. <laughs> is to take a wipe i'm going to take another baby wipe you can use makeup wipes and take a loose powder any loose powder i think just the shape of it you're going to wrap the baby wipe around it i'm going to actually get a smaller one than this because that one's not fitting and you wrap it around but you want to like hold it really really tight like so pinch it nice and tight around it and then you're going to take that and then just do like circular motions on your palette. Yeah, that actually works. Now the only thing is this palette has glitter and so that doesn't always like clean up the nicest. I'm gonna flip it around 
And instead of doing circular motions, I'm gonna kind of just do like a swiping motion. Yeah, if you have glitter, I think that that would be your best bet. Like look at how much cleaner that looks. Wow. Okay, we're gonna try it again one more time because this palette, my Jaclyn Hill palette has been through the ringer. It is a disaster. And it's, I mean, I've traveled with it, so there's dents. I, it's just, look at that. I'm embarrassed. And I never want to show this palette because I'm always so embarrassed. I'm going to take a clean one just to make sure it's like super effective. And I'm going to try it on this one because I've tried to clean this so many times, but it's just like hard to, it takes forever. So let's see. I'm going to lay it down on my hand here, so you might not be able to see it as well, but it's gonna be easier. This probably would work even better with a makeup wipe because it would actually like have some, you know, makeup removing properties. I'm just using a baby wipe, so I can only imagine how good it would be with makeup wipe. I've been using my makeup eraser and that's why I don't have any makeup wipes right now because it's been working so well, but this is actually cleaning it up. So I think that that hack does work for sure. I actually have two hacks for um, lashes. So I'm gonna do one on one eye and one on the other and we're gonna see which one works best if any of them work good at all. So the first hack is you are supposed to um, apply your mascara and then use a blow dryer on cool and kind of like do that. Oh, my eyes are going to water. I bet you a million dollars. Well, we'll just, whatever. We'll just, we'll just go with it. So I'm going to apply mascara on that side. Okay. So that is what my eye looks like. Let's do the bottom too, quickly. Okay, and then you're gonna take a blow dryer. I do have the Dyson one. You don't need a Dyson blow dryer. You can use any blow dryer. Put it on cool, because you don't want to burn your eyeball. And you're going to blow it upwards so that the lashes are blowing kind of up and hold it. I don't never said how long, and I'm gonna hold it for like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Okay, I could not do that any longer. My eyes are gonna start watering. I don't know if it made that much of a difference. Yeah, I don't really think it made that much of a difference. I mean, my lashes are decently curly anyways. Um, maybe like a little bit, but honestly it irritated my eye more than anything, so I don't think that I would do that one again. But I mean, get Kush mascara and your lashes look great anyways. So the next hack I'm really terrified to do. The next hack, you need a hair straightener and a q-tip. I'm terrified to burn my eyeball or burn my lashes, but we're going to just do it. I'm actually really scared guys. So please don't do this until you've seen my review. Cause if I burn my eyeball, I don't want you guys to burn your eyes too. And then you're supposed to clamp a q-tip and let it heat up and then apply it to the lashes and hold it there. And it's supposed to like perm your lashes with heat. I don't know. I'm really scared to burn my eyeball, but we're going to do it. All right. It's the moment of truth. If this video doesn't make it, it's probably because I burned my eyeball out. I may not be able to do any more videos after this because I may go blind. Okay. Okay. It's pretty warm, but as long as you don't like, I think, touch it right on your waterline, it's okay. I think it's 20 seconds you're supposed to hold it. Keep my eye closed for the, or open for that long. Mm, no. Okay, like you know what? If these don't work, this like what are they doing actually to make their lashes look like that? Is my question. It is definitely hot, so don't push it all the way against your eyelid. I want this to work so bad, but I really don't see it happening. No, it this doesn't work. So save yourself the trouble and the potential harm of burning your eyeball and don't do this. One I would like to try is that petroleum jelly, like the Vaseline and 
the lash curler. Maybe I'll do another TikTok hack video. If you'd like to see another TikTok hack video, give me a thumbs up on this video and I will do so. If you have any TikTok hacks that you want me to try out, comment below. Okay, so I have two more hacks for you guys. We're gonna try out this faux freckles. So you're supposed to take your bronzer. Where did I put you? I'm gonna take the one that I used today, my pretty vulgar bronze B bronze mannequin. And I'm gonna just take the lid of my setting spray and you're supposed to kind of just shave some off. I'm actually just gonna use my spoolie and it kind of just like dusted quite a bit off. I'm gonna tap that into the lid. So there's a decent amount in there. I'm gonna spray setting powder. So you make kind of like a liquid and then I'm gonna take larger, fluffier brush. I don't think you want it to be too dense. Um, so I'm gonna take my JH45 and we're gonna mix it up. I think I need a denser brush. Yeah, it, it does kind of make freckle like marks but you can't really control where they go and I do have freckles um, so I don't like this one I feel like it would work but honestly I would prefer to like go in with a small brush kind of do the dots and then like blend them out a little bit because I feel like then you can strategically place them whereas this kind of just looks like you went like mudding and got mud all over your face it's all right it's not the worst thing but yeah i don't really like that one and it was like messy personally i wasn't a huge fan of but i think like if you don't want to have to sit there and do the like you know take the time to hand draw some faux freckles it's a little bit of a quicker easier way but it kind of looks like mud spackle like mud spritzed on your face but anyways, it was worth a shot. So one last hack to test. This one I was very intrigued by. Okay, so the last hack that I came across I thought was very odd, but I just wanted to try home lip injections. You're supposed to brush your lips for 30 seconds, then apply a little bit of Vaseline, and then apply a little bit of polysporin, and then put lip gloss on, and they're supposed to look like you just got lip injections. So we'll see. <laughs> Okay, I think that's from 30 seconds. Now we're going to apply a little bit of Vaseline. gloss on. I'm going to do my Fenty in Fussy. I do feel like my lips look bigger. Is that just because like, I feel like they look more red because of the brushing and then they look poutier because they have so many layers of like glossy things like I kind of feel like my lips do look bigger what do you guys think do you guys actually think they look bigger or am I just like imagining things maybe not that much bigger I don't know that one I'm not quite sure about so a little update um I feel like I look like I have mud on my face so definitely a fail for the faux freckles brows a fail um, the lash perming and the blow dryer curler thing all fails. Um, eyeliner brush with the lash glue, that actually worked. And then I would say that the lips, it's not, I don't know. I don't really think like it actually made my lips look like I have lip injections. I think it just, they look glossy, so they look poutier. I think that's really it. And they look a little bit more red because I was brushing them like they're you know, kind of stimulated with all the irritation. It doesn't really work that well. Um, but
but yeah, I think so far so good for the face. I'm experiencing a little bit of like cakiness and like breakdown right in here. And I do feel like everywhere else though looks pretty good. So, so far so good. I would say that it works, but I wouldn't say it looks better than my makeup does typically. Um, So I don't really think that it's like, you don't have to change your routine to get your makeup to look good, just get good quality products. That's my opinion. But let's just see how the makeup lasts. Like maybe it will last and not crease. Maybe it'll last longer, although I'm experiencing a little bit of creasing underneath the eyes, but isn't like that uncommon. So we're gonna see how this lasts and I will get back to you guys um, at the end of the day. So it is after eight o'clock, almost nine now. I'm just updating you guys on that hack. I'm trying to find the best lighting here. I'm in my kitchen. Um, it's not the best. It's definitely broke down quite a bit in here. Those freckles look like literal dirt. And then the whole like set your moisturizer, setting spray, then primer. I didn't really like that. Now, if you had really dry skin and you can get away with not setting your foundation afterwards, that might be a good option for you. Um, I really liked the way that it looked upon application. My skin looked so smooth, but I found that my makeup's been, you know, it's broke down really, really quickly. And that Synchro Skin Foundation by Shiseido is typically really good. Um, now, obviously with the heat and the humidity, like it's pretty hard for any foundation to last if you're, you know, touching your face. Like my son just touches my face all the time. It's pretty impossible for my makeup to look flawless at the end of the day. So um, even this foundation sometimes does wear down by the end of the day, but like it's only been like five hours, five and a half hours since I finished. I did record later today. So ultimately I'm not super happy with the way that my makeup looks um, considering the time. These brows are just awful, oh my goodness. My husband even noticed. He's like, oh yes, I made a comment about brows. I'm like, why did you notice? And then he played it off that he didn't, but I'm like, no, I know, I know. So yeah, ultimately the majority of the hacks were fails. Um, but I mean, that's good for you guys to know um, which ones are good and or not. If you have any that you want to know about, if you want me to demonstrate or test, because I can definitely do more TikTok hack um, tests in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, select all so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and have a wonderful day guys. Thanks so much.